What's up everybody, my name is Time Shark, but you can call me Tear Tot, and welcome to Fallout 4. How long have we been waiting for this game? Too long! But guess what, it's finally here, it's brilliant, it's amazing, I've put about, I think, 7 hours into it. This right here is about an hour into the game, it doesn't take this long, but I, I just like to search and do all sorts of crazy things, which I'll try not to do in this Let's Play. As you can see, I've made a bombastic looking redhead, I love her, and she's got these nerdy glasses on. They're actually really cool. I could have made her look very scary, very, very scary. The customization in this game is so spectacular, but I didn't want to waste all my time with that. Instead, I got into the game and wasted my time searching for random items, which again, I will try not to do in this. I can't help it. So I don't know how this Let's Play is going to be. I don't really think it's going to be a full on Let's Play unless, of course, people really enjoy it and want me to, then by all means I will, because Fallout, this game is brilliant. I am in love with it. If I could put a ring on it, I would. Anyways, let me know what you think. If you want me to do make this into a full Let's Play, I can, but my idea is right now is to just kind of, uh, whoa, what's that? Ooh, a bottle cap. I didn't find that in my first Let's Play. Oh, I, I totally missed this, didn't I? That's going to bother me. Anyways, I was thinking I could just go and do random stuff, maybe not even pertaining to the story, and kind of edit it around that and just kind of my goofy adventures in the wasteland. I think that would be really fun. But again, let me know what you guys want. I could do both after I do this. Maybe you guys want to see me do a very specific Let's Play. I don't really mind. This game is, like I said, I, I love it. It's my favorite game right now. I've also got Tomb Raider on the X1. And that game is pretty great right now, too. However, I haven't been able to get my Elgato working. If I can get it working, I will definitely fix that up. Ooh, Sanctuary. I don't want to start any of the campaign story for those of you who don't want to see any of that. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go over here. Wait, no, wait. I need to go over here because... I need to talk to- so there may be some story spoilers, I'm really sorry if that bothers you. It's nothing too big, I promise. I'm just gonna meet, uh, Codsworth and maybe find my dog here So, Oh wait, you know what? No, 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 I don't need to meet Codsworth just yet. In fact, I can just go over to the rocket station, get my dog. So yeah, see, we don't even need story. No one needs it, I'm gonna collect all this stuff. I did make my character here, I'll show you guys real quick. I did make my character very well rounded with a lot of perception, charisma, and intelligence as well as strength so that I can carry a lot of stuff. I didn't really care for agility. Uh, I don't really sneak. The action points and vats is helpful, but we'll see. The gunplay in this one's really nice. Um, as much as I love vats and I, you know it's really unique to Fallout and I love to use it, it makes it feel a little bit more tactical. I do really like the gunplay in this one. It feels much better than any of the other ones. Uh, even a little bit better than Fallout New Vegas, so... Oh, there's a car wreck down there. That's just unfortunate. What is that? Is that like an engine? There's so many things I think I, I overlooked the first time I played through this. Hello! Uh... I don't remember coming across this. Let's hey, go boy. ahead and get our companion here. What are you here. doing out here all by yourself? Uh, let's go. Do you want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. <laughs> I love German Shepherds so much. Growing up, my dad had, uh, I think, a total of three of them. So, I, I'm very fond of those dogs. They're so adorable. Ooh, let's collect all the Nuka Colas. What'd you find? What'd you find? What? Did he just open a door? He's never done that for me before. Dog meat. What the hell, man? You can just open... No, don't activate the radio. What am I doing? Can't activate radios. What? What'd you find? I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. What is it? A giddy up buttercup head. That doesn't help me at all. What? What are you what are you looking at? What is Edatronic? There's nothing in here. Oh. There's nothing in there either. You're just going Oh. Oh wait. I was gonna say you're just going in circles, but there was a stim pack at your feet. Oh! This is helpful, thanks. What is this? The Red Rocket Terminal. Let's see. I don't think there's really... Uh, safe storage. That's interesting. 
Jim, take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a long-term solution later. Hey, if nature is going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? Oh, I didn't read this the first time. I just accidentally came across the, uh, the cave. So I'll go do that now, except I am going to need a good weapon. Do I even have a weapon? This is important to know. I do. And I have, I have two grenades. I don't remember getting those. Huh. Ooh, cartons of cigarettes. We can sell that for good money. What the? Oh, shit. The mole rats are here. Oh, God. Mole rats are significantly more dangerous in this game. Let's go ahead. Oh, ripped off his head. Let's go ahead and enter vats and pop this one right in his thigh. Where is the? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, just shoot them all. Oh, man. That was terrifying. With all the mole rats dead, we can move on. What? What? They're not all dead. I lied. Oh gosh. Bam! Shoot him! Oh, that was so cool. Oh, I hit it! Oh, I thought I missed for a second. I love those Vats cutscenes as my dog just totally ripped that mole rat a new one. Okay, let's go discover this cave. I know exactly where it is. So this is a cool little place where you can like set up shop and build your little armor suit, which we'll get later in this, actually it might be in this episode. These videos are going to be a little bit longer, or these episodes are going to be a little bit longer. Ooh, a drinking glass, sure. And a helmet. Uh, they are going to be a little bit longer just because this game has a lot to do. So to limit these videos, not a whole lot would get done. Even if I could edit it really well, brain fungus, ooh, an extinguisher. But there is some really important stuff down here. There also happens to be a lot of mole rats. Like that one. Rufus has been drinking too much radiation and now he needs to be put down. Bam! Oh god, but he's got brethren. And... Oh, get out of here. The gunplay in this is so satisfying. Oh, oh! Oh my good lord! I did not expect him to pop up there. Like I said, they are significantly more dangerous. What do we got all here? Can I find a full Nuka-Cola? There we go. I think that's the only one. Maybe? All this uh, brain fungus. I don't know what it's good for. Is that glowy fungus? Yeah, and a plunger. So much random junk down here. What is over here? We've got a left leg bone, and it looks like a pelvis. So that's not good. I hear something. And bah! Oh, he did not die. He's rabid. Okay, that one was a little bit stronger than the others. I should have snuck attack him. But like I said at the beginning, I don't do a whole lot of sneaking. I'm not a very sneaky... Oh, teddy bear. Oh, he is just in whatever goop this is. I probably shouldn't step in that. Oh, hello. We've got a safe. I only have one bobby pin, though, so we really can't screw this up. Okay, it's... Yeah, we're good. No, no, no. Oh, boy. No, nope, too far, too far. Perfect. No, one, all right, we're good. Shit, we'll, we'll get back to that one. I can't believe I screwed that up already. Maybe there's some down here in a chest or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's get to what the important part of coming down here. I believe that's over the, oh no, that's the way I entered. Oh, it's right here. This big old like bomb. We need the fusion core. Yes, I have taken radiation damage, that sucks. But there's also a glow sided pipe pistol and some ammo and a note. The Trash Busters Award. Mr. Benson, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste, reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative efforts in this regard. Sincerely, Gerard Phillips, Vice President, Boston Region. We're gonna go ahead and take that. As you can see, they didn't really do a good job of disposing of stuff, they just kind of hit it underground and now it's this cesspool that's breeding grounds for mole rats apparently. So we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. So what's really nice about this game is that it doesn't really take long to traverse the, the wasteland in order to get somewhere else, which I personally like because it keeps things interesting. I like, I like uh, more intricate areas rather than a long, boring, empty wasteland. Like in Fallout New Vegas, it was really big, wide, and open, but there wasn't a whole lot out there, and that kind of bored me. As to where this, you turn around, there's just a town where you can explore inside most of the buildings and everything. Also, we leveled up. Let's go ahead and open up the perk chart here. 
So I can upgrade any of these and then I can look down here and we could do, for example, we could do pickpocketing, which I'm probably not going to do, but we could all, we could do something. Maybe we should work on, should I make a Vats character? Would you guys like to see a Vats character? Huh, I don't know. I don't know. Demolition would be fun. Heavy guns would be fun. Night person. Wow, there's a there's a lot of choices. I still haven't gone through all these. Uh, there's quite a lot I can't do yet. I think I'm just gonna raise one of these, maybe. Then again, maybe it's best to go and do one of these. I don't know. Definitely getting medic. Yes, that's going to be extremely helpful. Medic is the first thing on the list. Now let's go ahead and get our power armor. I believe it's over this way. Ah uh, yes, now I remember. So there is, in order to get the power armor, at least here, you do have to do some stuff with the story. I'm gonna help these guys kill these raiders, and then I'm gonna go get the power armor. I'll skip it all so you guys don't have to see any spoilers. I'm gonna dive right into this. I've made it up to the rooftop where the power armor is. There's also a crashed helicopter thing. I totally forget. Vertibird, that's what it's called. Totally forgot what that was named. We're gonna put this fusion core in like so. And now we can enter the power armor. We're gonna go ahead and grab that minigun. I apologize if this is kind of a spoiler to this first story. It really doesn't matter that much in the end. I'm just going to take this gun and kill a bunch of people. That's it. Like I said, I'll skip any of the dialogue or anything that actually might matter. But we're gonna go ahead and shred this guy because the minigun in this game is an absolute beast of a weapon. Boom. Dog meat. You gotta be careful there. Don't step in front of this. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and jump down here because you don't take any fall damage in this thing. You just land and you make the ground shake beneath you. Is everybody dead? Uh-oh. Whoa, hello. Didn't mean for that to happen. Dog meat, where are you? Where'd you go? What? Dog meat, what? Oh, hello. There's, is there somebody up there? Oh, dog meat, no! Let me get him off you. And now he is just a pile of meat. Oh, there it is. The first death claw, ladies and gentlemen. And he is a big, ugly looking dude. Oh, but he's gonna go kill the raiders for me. So on my other playthrough, I played on a harder difficulty and he does not die. So let's see how, how fast I can take him down on this. I'm just playing on normal. He totally just threw that, no! He just kicked my dog! All right, you're gonna have to die now. Oh, he still doesn't, he still takes bullets and he eats them for breakfast. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh god. Oh no. He's still very strong even on the normal difficulty. Excuse me, Raider. Please don't shoot me while I'm in the middle of a fight here. Oh god. Oh, and she's dead. Okay. Um, okay. Who is shooting me? He's dead too. All the Raiders are just dying right now. You want a piece of me? I will light you up. You hurt my dog. Oh yeah, you want some of this? Can I hit him? Oh, you want some of this? Take that. And some of th this. Oh, I totally missed. Okay, okay. Ugh. This is like the best boxing match of my life. Oh, oh God. Oh. Okay, you, you, you almost have me there. And finisher. Okay, he clearly won. Wait, did I kill him? Did we just knock each other out? I, I think we just knocked each other out. That match will never be, the winner will never be determined. That was incredible. So I've learned my lesson. Let's try that again. Back for round two. This time I'm going to win. It's not gonna be a tie. Oh yeah, lighten you up. Dude, watch out. Oh, oh no. Oh no, here we go again. 
Wow, look at that building. It looks so unique. Oh, hello. Um, cover fire. I'm going to... Oh, no. I'm, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not going the way I had planned. Did you already knock out my dog again? Dog me is one brave little guy. Or gal. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. But they're very brave to take on this big death claw. Hello. What the hell, man? I'm in the middle of a fight. I don't know if he was trying to help me or kill me. I probably shouldn't have just taken my anger out on him. Okay, we're back into a fisticuff. Oh, God. Okay, you've won this one. Ow, ow. Or you won the battle. Ow, but you have not won this war. Okay, okay. Dog meat. We're going to have to just cheat. I'm sorry. I can't win the fisticuffs. He's clearly the better fighter. Who the fuck is shooting me? Screw you guys. I just took out... A big monster and you're gonna come up behind me like that no you guys don't deserve to live you're all dead now where'd the other one go oh you running you running yeah that's right it is a minigun get out of my house or my town rather I've gone ahead and fast traveled back to sanctuary so that I can put my power suit on this station real quick because I need... How do I get out of this again? I think... Yep, there we go. You just have to hold the A button. Sweet. So now if I go up to this thing and hit craft, it'll pop up on there. And you can... As you can see, she's a mechanic all of a sudden. And now you can just work on this stuff. And you can repair it. Um, but we do need more uh, fusion cores to keep it going. So I'm going to leave it here for now. I think this is a really good place to stop this episode. It's just the beginning, and I think we've actually done a lot today. I apologize for any minor spoilers. That mission is really important, but it doesn't really matter as far as the story goes. It just gets a lot of like the tutorial stuff out. Like, you get your power armor, you get some weapons, and fight some enemies that you've never seen before. It's a good introductory mission that's that's just important to the beginning of the game. So I apologize if, if that upsets you if I did that mission. Hello. Excuse me, I'm trying to slowly do my outro. I'm not very good at this. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Codsworth. Oh my gosh, I will let you guys finish that. Guys, kill him. Seriously? There you go. Yes, we're all still alive. I apologize for shooting you. Anyways, as to back to what I was saying. Wow, oh, you have a bottle cap. Thank you. I have died to those before, and when I died, like, little creatures crawl inside of you. It's gross and disturbing. I'm sure it's just the most unpleasant thing in the whole wide wasteland. Anyways, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're all excited for the next stuff we're going to do. Because from now on, I'm just going to be goofing around. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is Tater Tot, signing off.